Hey guys, we're going to open this and we're going to hope for a Nissa. And I don't know, like we're going to have a ton of these, by the way. They're very good posters. Oh, cool. Actually, this is not a bad card. Evolutionary Leap. And this is a good green card, actually. I think it's worth a few dollars. It is survival of the fittest, but not very good. And then we get the spider, the messenger. I love the messenger. Leaf glider. Force mage is very good and limited. And might of the masses. Let's talk about evolutionary leap. One in a green, sacrifice a creature, reveal cards from your top of the library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and then the rest on the bottom of your library in, in, in a random order. This card is interesting. The artwork is fantastic. I, it's not survival of the fittest. Uh, a trend of Magic Origins has been that the cards are kind of like the old cards, but not like, not good enough, right? So it's like they took old cards that used to be good and made them a little weaker so they would be playable and standard. However, this card is very interesting. A very interesting type of interaction. Instead of coming, you know, discarding a creature card, which is fantastic for reanimator and one of the reasons survival of the fittest is that good, you have to sacrifice a creature. Uh, now that creature does eventually go to your graveyard, but it can't be like a big creature because then you have to pay it to cast it. I like it a lot. The reason I like it is because you can activate it the turn it comes out. On turn three, you can activate it for one double green and get like a advantage. Uh, it's interesting card. It might see some play. I'm not positive of its future, but I guess we'll see soon. Bye, guys.